But first, just moments ago, the Birmingham man accused of mail ordering almost $7,000 worth of child pornography walked out of a federal lockup. Yeah. But he had nothing to say to 7 Action News. Yeah, meantime, we are learning he's had a history of surrounding himself with children, even volunteering at a school. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is at federal court in Detroit where he appeared before a judge. Cameras aren't allowed inside federal court, but here's what happened. 71 year old William Schaefer appeared before a judge, was charged with possession and receipt of child pornography in accordance with this complaint. He was then given a $10,000 cash bond and another court date was set. Meantime, the lead investigator on this case says this isn't just about possessing pictures, this is about other actions that may have happened too. Statistics show that one in three people who actually view child pornography. Um, they have actually molested a child. U.S. Postal Inspector Wiley Christopher says that drives home the importance of catching those who have child porn, and it raises concerns about the lifestyle Schaefer chose. According to this complaint, in 1987, a police report was filed in Westland, accusing him of molesting an eight or nine year old boy while he worked for Child Protective Services. Today in court, it was said he had no criminal history, so apparently he was never convicted. But he continued to find ways to be around kids. Birmingham schools confirm he volunteered at least a decade ago and recorded high school football games. I talked to a spokesperson for Birmingham schools. They say it was about 10 years ago. The Schaefer volunteered here in the press box recording school football games. They say during his time volunteering, they never got any complaints. And if they do get a complaint, they'll look into it. Meantime, the criminal investigation continues into the man who lives in this Birmingham home. And the U.S. Postal Service says if you use their service to exploit children, you will face consequences. You will be arrested by our agency. Kim Russell, 7 Action News.